As a multi-species angler, I have come to appreciate all types of fish. However, one species that will always rise to the top of my list of favorites is the smallmouth bass. These fish range throughout a large chunk of the country, but are especially prevalent in the north. I spent a long weekend in northern Michigan with my family and decided that I was going to pursue these feisty fish. Welcome to Northern Bronze. Okay, so it is day one. I actually just got done working and I am up here in a northern Michigan lake. I am in search, obviously, of big old bronze fish, AKA smallmouth bass. And I'm kind of starting out in a pretty shallow area given the circumstances. This is a very deep lake. I'm only in nine foot of water right now. I'm fishing before the break line. I'm looking for big boulders. I'm looking for anything that a smallmouth might position behind. Obviously, I will start working out deeper as well, but with the wind being so high, the water temp still being pretty low, who knows, they might be up shallow feeding. Really the goal with this short little outing right now is just to get a feel for what these fish might be doing. I don't expect to catch a lot. I just basically hope that I can catch one or two and just kind of get a feel for the lay of the land. This is all new water for me and uh, I don't necessarily know what to think, but I'm just gonna keep my eyes peeled and just kind of go with a flow. I have zero idea what these fish might be doing. I'm gonna pick up this underspin and see if I can cover water with it. Pretty heavy jig, so it'll get down there. It's got that donkey tail on there. Let's see what happens. Looks good. This is totally different than the type of water I'm used to fishing. In my area in Michigan, I tend to fish a lot of uh, smaller lakes with vegetation, fishing for largemouth. Lots of bluegill present. A place like this, there's probably not near as many bluegill and uh, there's a lot more smallmouth bass. I'm gonna try the uh, jerk bait for a little while. I've got a deep yellow perch jerk bait. Definitely seems like smallmouth candy. I'm gonna try to work this jerk bait pretty erratically. Just keep moving water. No sense in fishing slow until I prove that I need to fish slow. And uh, water's so clear, I just wanna keep it moving. No such luck on the jerk bait. We're gonna try something a little different here. I've got this uh, tube jig, just a little tiny tube. And I've got, a, I've got about a 3 16 ounce uh, jig in there, so I'm gonna have to be patient. After several minutes of no luck, I decided to keep moving water in search of something new. Oh, this looks good. This looks different. This is interesting. Oh, something short striked it. This looks different, so this looks good. Everything kind of looks the same. Find something that looks different, that's usually a good way to find fish, to tell you the truth. It's so simple, but it is true. Sandy bottom, lots of mixed rock in here. That's the first time I've seen that, and it's making me think this could be a great spot where the uh, fish move up shallow to feed. It's just something a little different. It allows them to kind of blend in. It allows them to sabotage bait. I can see like a color change. And I think that's because it's more pebbles and whatnot down there. There's a fish, no, I missed him. Probably a Rocco. But dadgummit, that was my first bite. First, that was my first real bite. There he is, I got him, I got him. He came back for it. I bet this, is a, this has gotta be a smallie. It's a smallie, it's a smallie. This is what we're after folks. Not the size, but it is the species. All right, I bet it was the same fish that came back and ate it. I've had them do that to me in the past. God, I love these fish, man. I love these fish. This is what we're after, baby. You find something different, you find the fish. Beautiful northern smallmouth bass. Look at that color, beautiful. Buddy, I'm gonna let you go right away, let's go. Where there's one smallmouth bass, there's two smallmouth bass. Finicky little bite, he smacked it. I hooked him for a second, missed him, and then uh, he came back and ate it again. I cannot believe I only caught the one in this area. I fished this whole entire area, all through these shallows with both the tube and the jerk bait. Not a single fish. Oh shoot! Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh, he's giant. He's giant. Oh, he had it! He had it! Oh, holy smokes, that was a freaking tank. Holy crap, come back for it. Holy smokes, I saw him. Oh, he's coming after it. He's not eating it, he's just, he's just faking it out. Dude, this is a tank. He came back for it, he's just like super defense. Oh, here he comes. Oh my gosh. He's just circling it, he's playing games with me, man. Freaking donkey, that's a donkey, man. Holy smokes. 
this jerkbait has big old treble hooks on it, so it might not be natural enough for them in this clear water. We've worked off a little bit deeper. There's a lot of isolated boulders out here. So one that was an absolute unit. Oh, he's chasing it again. They're just tailing it. With all this wind, you'd think they would hit this thing. Okay, that's okay. I'm gonna try a giant topwater. I'm gonna work it super freaking erratically. We're only in about 10 foot of water and he was clearly willing to move around a little bit. We ruled it out. I might try a whopper plopper tomorrow. Try that thunderspin again. Oh my gosh, I let it sink. I actually had my uh, donkey tail out there drifting and I let the underspin sink for a little while. I reeled down my slack and he came up and ate it. Okay, golly, he's got some fight to him. I don't think he's all that big. It's a nice fish, nice fish. Not the giant we're looking for, but a good fish. All right, cool. Well, we've got two on two different baits, the tube and the underspin. Working up a little confidence in that underspin. That's good. That's actually a donkey tail on that underspin. Trying something a little different. It's another beauty. Let's get a quick size reference. Well, I knew I could make another fish bite. I was getting flustered with myself. Just gotta try a couple different things. All right. He's tense. Buddy, chill out. You're okay. I'll take my hand off you. Close your mouth. He's real tense. Whatever. He's about like a 14 and a half. Just shy of 15. Beautiful fish. Obviously, I found a high potential area. Now it's a matter of figuring out what the right rig is to throw. I feel like a weighted fluke could be an interesting bait to throw for sure. I, I'd like to keep experimenting with some uh, tubes and maybe some drop shots. Okay, folks, I know that I haven't really explained what the heck's going on, but like I said in the intro of today's video, we are doing a kind of a small mini series, Northern Bronze. The goal is simple. We're looking for some big jumbo smallmouth bass, as I've been talking about. Obviously, right now, I'm a little bit confused. Unfortunately, I just got the text that dinner's gonna be ready in about 30 minutes, so I've got a few more minutes to fish for day one. But that being said, today's trip absolutely did exactly what I wanted it to do, that being kind of honed me in on how these fish might be acting. I don't necessarily know what to do because they're acting a little bit weird, but at least I found a population of fish and I actually saw some pretty good size potential. So I'm really stoked. If I can catch like a 20 inch smallmouth, I'd be fired up. But honestly, I just want to catch some of these beauties because they are such fun fish, especially in this clear water. It's just so cool being able to see them. They look beautiful. Everything about this is beautiful. Look at this, beautiful just straight beautiful. Regardless, I'm gonna get back to fishing because I've only got a few more minutes to do so and I'm hoping to catch one more fish. Fingers crossed. I just don't know what the right rig is. Do I start fishing the jerk bait again just to try to find the fish? What do I, there's a fish. I was getting confused. Oh no, he's running towards me. This could be a good one. I was just kind of free drift in this little bitsy tube. This could be a pretty good one, boys. He's got some fight to him. I don't wanna let this fish get off on this slack. So we gotta keep pressure on this guy. He's not coming up. This is interesting, guys. Very interesting. He's got some weight to him. No, no, no. What the heck? Gosh, dang it. Oh my gosh, why? Why did he pop off? I, this is just a random hook. It feels pretty sharp. Man, he got some kinks in my line too, so I gotta retie. Gosh, dang it. That might have been a pretty big fish. I don't feel like I did anything wrong. I kept pressure on him, he had pressure on him, and it just pulled free. You know, this is just a random jig I found, but the, the hook feels okay. It's not too big, it's not too small. I feel like this is a pretty good hook for, you know, tube fishing. It just could be a random deal. I mean, part of fishing is losing fish. I don't know what I would change necessarily. Maybe tighten my drag just a hair, but I don't want to go too hard. The good news is, you know, I feel like we're doing the right thing. Bad news is we just haven't capitalized quite like I'd like to. Who knows? I don't know if there's any more way out here. We've definitely drifted off the spot, but I guess let's just use it as an experiment. There he is. Yes. Okay, let's get this one. That's a nice fish. He's coming up. He's wanting to jump, but I'm gonna try to keep his head down. Oh my gosh, this one's got some weight, guys. He wants to come up. He's gonna come up. He's gonna come up. <gasps> He's a big fish. He's a fat fish. I don't think he's a long fish, but he's a fat fish. We're not missing this fish, man. Oh gosh, here he comes. Oh, this is fighting more like a smallie. Yes, sir. God, he fought hard. 
He's not all that big, but he fought hard. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And that hook just popped out. That's done that both times. Not a giant, but a beauty. Probably 15 and a half, maybe 16. Oh, golly. Feels good to land him. They're fighting hard, guys. Who knows, maybe the one I missed wasn't as big as I thought. Uh, it's almost time to eat dinner, so I need to get back. I headed in for the night to eat dinner, re-rig, and mentally prepare for another afternoon trip the next day. Boom shakalaka, I just got done with work for the day and it is day two of Northern Bronze. Yesterday I caught a couple, caught some like 15 inches or so, but today hopefully we can get into a bigger one. No matter what, I'm gonna give it my all. I'm gonna throw around a tube, I'm gonna throw around a drop shot. I got a couple other things rigged up. The good news is yesterday I kind of got clued in on what these fish are doing, but I still got a lot of work to do. Regardless, if we can catch a big old juicy smallmouth bass, I'm gonna be a happy camper. So let's get back to it, let's get started. Oh, you are kidding me. You're kidding me. I was literally drifting my tube, getting ready to go. I pick up my rod, there's already one on it. So um, it's not exactly the size we're looking for, but it's the right species. So that's, uh, I guess that's a good thing. I don't know, we're about to find out. One cast in, we've already got one fish. I'm planning on returning to my uh, spot from yesterday here in a few. It's a long pedal to my spot. Gonna get my leg work out for the day. Honestly, that's okay. That's why I like kayak fishing. <laughs> The exercise, man, it's great. Whew, but look at this. Just beautiful, dude. This water is incredible. I'm sure these fish, you know, with a body of water like this, I'm sure they can move quite a bit, but I, I don't see why they would have moved from yesterday to today. No major weather changes, very similar conditions. I'd have to imagine they're still here. Come on, Smalley. Where are you at, mister? Oh! Shoot, short striker? How do you short strike this little dinky thing? Okay, uh, it's dinky, I think. He's not big. He's not, oh, it's a big fat rock bass is what it is. It's a big fat rocko. Well, I make a couple casts with a drop shot and this is what we get for it. You know, I'm not gonna complain about a rock bass. It's not necessarily the species we're after but I'm not one to complain about any species, you guys know that. And that's actually a pretty big rock bass. Well, that would be a bonus. All right, beauty. See ya, buddy. There we go. That's gotta be a smallie. Or it's a rock bass that has decent fight. No, that's a smallie. Not a big one. Worked up back to the shallows. I tried the deep stuff, and I just, there was nothing out there that really drew my attention. Couldn't really find anything different, if that makes sense. It's just all the same thing, and I didn't see any boulders or anything, and I just didn't think there was any reason to be out there as a fish. So I came up here, and uh, we're back to the shallows. Unfortunately, not a very big fish, but it's a fish. Well, lost my worm, but we caught one on the drop shots. So that's a good thing. There we go. Uh, I think it's about like the last one. Just a little guy. He was off that same uh, buoy there. It's pretty much identical to the last one, just a little dink. Drop shot though, I love drop shot fishing. I don't do it very much these days, but I do like doing it. It is a fun way to catch fish. All right, see you, buddy. Man, I've got itchy eyes. I think I got a little um, sunscreen in my eyes and it is killing me. Oh my gosh. They're itchy, they're uncomfortable, and it sucks. We got DNR here, but don't worry. I do have my fishing license. And I do love the DNR. Hello. How are you Good. Yep. And I do have my fishing license, awesome. and I do have my PFD. So I think I'm doing everything right. This is the first time I've actually been encountered. It's like I like I like it. I wish that I was encountered more often. So I've got my fishing license right here, and I'll just you can take my phone and whatnot. You guys have a great day. Yeah. Thank you. 
shout out to all the DNR employees out there. Seriously, I respect the heck out of that job. You know, one of my favorite shows, I don't watch a lot of TV, but one of my favorite shows is uh, Lone Star Law. I love watching the Texas like DNR agents just go out and they get into the most random stuff. But I tell you what, it's hard work. And uh, I have nothing but respect for DNR officers in all states. I just appreciate the work they do. And quite frankly, um, you know, we want to keep our waters clean. We want to you know, just really be conservationists and take care of the bodies of water and all of our wildlife. And it's like, somebody's got to do that job and it's not an easy job. So shout out to all the DNR officers out there. Nothing but respect. Hmm. I think I need to find more areas with consolidated rock. The one spot where I've found numerous fish has lots of rock and boulders mixed in. And it's on this same flat that I'm fishing. Those fish were not there today, but it could just be a timing thing. I'm definitely gonna buzz by there again on the way back. I proceeded to cover a lot of water with numerous different baits, and unfortunately, I just couldn't seem to dial in the bass. There he is. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, it's not big. Such a finicky bite. I actually pulled up, and it was slack line. I'm like, why is it slack? You know, it was it, the tube was just on the bottom. Why is it slack now? And that was an indicator that something picked it up, so I set the hook. And it's a dinky smallmouth. It's not the size we're looking for, but man, we broke our dry streak. So it feels pretty darn good. Man, these fish are really pale. Okay, good. I know there's gonna be more and we're gonna catch them. This spot right here, this one right here is where I've, I've definitely seen more fish than any other. They just don't seem to be actively feeding. The bites I've got have been off the bottom and they've been finicky. They don't smash it. I've only had one fish really chase, and that was the one that chased my jerk bait, but he didn't even eat it. He just kind of kept rolling on it. As the fishing came to a close on day two, I was starting to feel a little worn down by these fish. They were working my brain and I could not figure out what to do, but I did feel optimistic that over the course of the next two days, I was going to figure them out.